Welcome back everyone. Today I have a 2015 Tundra. Uh, customers concerned about all the lights on their dash. So when I pulled codes, I, I noticed that they're all on because of a right rear speed sensor code. And I've actually been having trouble duplicating this. Every time I drive it, I get the car to act up. As soon as I pull it in the shop to diagnose it, everything seems to be working fine. But late last night, I stayed and I was actually able to get a waveform saved for the power feed to the right rear speed sensor. And you can see by the waveform that I have an issue with that power feed. Something's causing it to drop out. So when I came in today, it was actually a hard fault and now I have no power going to the right rear speed sensor. So I'm gonna bring you up to uh, speed and show you what I did and show you how I'm going to finish diagnosing this. I'm back probed, I'm back probed into the power feed of my left rear and my right rear speed sensor. I'm just using a 20 volt scale on the Pico scope. And uh, you can see my left rear speed sensor, which is my red trace, has about 11 volts on it. My right rear has zero. So the only connector between my ABS module and the connector at the charcoal canister is under the hood of here. It's on the uh, right side, right by this air filter box. So I'm back. So I'm back probed in to this connector and I have 11.2 volts. So I now know that I have an open circuit somewhere between this connector and the one on the charcoal canister. Now I just have to find it. I'm going to use one of these piercing probes. I know I'm going to get crap for it, but I have a broken wire. My only options are really to run a new wire all the way from the front of the truck to the rear. And I don't like doing that because there might be more than one break. There might be more than one wire rub through. I actually want to find the issue. So I'm going to pierce this as few times as possible. I'm going to find um, basically as close to the middle of this harness as I can and uh, try to separate. What's up? And try to uh, separate this harness in half. We have this black and white wire twisted together, and usually twisted wires are for your speed sensor. So I'm pretty sure this black wire is my power wire to that speed sensor. So here I have 11 volts, so my issue is after this point. So I'm going to go to the other side of this frame rail and see if I still have power. Knocking my damn camera all over the place. Now I'm on the opposite side of that frame rail looking for that same wire. The twisted pair of black and white wires. This should be right here. Now on this side of the harness, I don't have any voltage. So my issue is gonna be somewhere between here, on top of that frame rail, and here, here's where I pierced it last and I had voltage. So my issue is most likely somewhere on top of this frame rail. The 
hard part is going to be getting to it. found it. This broken wire was actually on top of this frame rail. This wire is completely corroded through. So I'm just going to fix this wire and see if it's fixed. Now that this is fixed, I wanted to do a quick little demo to show that these sensors actually work off of amperage, not voltage. When we're scoping it on the voltage, we're actually just seeing a voltage drop. The amperage of these pull are so low, I needed to loop my wire, a jumper wire, six times um, to magnify the amperage signal six times to go through my amp clamp. So I used a jumper wire through my amp clamp, looped six times, and I had to jump my ground because the, the connector is disconnected. So I'm just going to spin the wheel and show you the amperage and voltage change. So, so I wanted to show you, I wanted to show you that these actually work off amperage. So I guess we'll catch you guys next time.